Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got an email from AJ. Very simple question here. It's kind of coincidental because I just, I swear, wrote a chapter in my book about this. So I thought I would do a video. Uh, let me see here. I want to adjust this a little bit. All right. <laughs> okay. So anyway, he, AJ just asked, hey, John, could you make a video on how to deal with people that won't stop talking? <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I just wrote a chapter in my new book. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, if you've been signed up for to get the free updates on the blog, all you got to do is click here and you can sign up with your email address and you'll get the new chapters as they, they come out. It's uh, tentatively called the uh, Software Developer's Ultimate Career Guide or something like that, right? But it's basically going to be all about your career. You can, you know, check it out in, in the, the first, I think, 10 chapters, at least by the time this video is out. 10 or 15 chapters have come out. It's like a 50 chapter book. I'm almost done with it. When I'm done with it, I will be selling it on Kindle, you know, Amazon, Audible, all that stuff. But if you want to get the chapters for free, you can check it out there. Anyway, I did a chapter on dealing with coworkers, right? And in that, one of the coworker types that I mentioned was people who won't stop talking, right? This is annoying because what ends up happening is, you know, you, you, you've run into these people, right? You work with these people that you basically, you go in your cubicle and there, there they are. It's, it's, it's like as soon as you sit down and put your fingers on the keyboard, you see their head popping up over the cubicle wall or they're, they're standing there in your doorway and you try to not acknowledge them, but they're just kind of hovering there and then they got to tell you about the latest of what happened with their neighbors, the, the latest saga with their fights with their neighbors and their fence or whatever it is, right? And they're just, they're always talking and they're never working. And you're trying to get your work done and you don't want to be rude, right? But they, they just, they don't get the hint. And so, you know, you, you maybe you've tried some of these things, like you put on your headphones, <laughs> right? Or you, you get them ready or you're reaching for the headphones or you do that little swivel where you swivel toward the keyboard and you start to type, but they're still talking at you. Like they just can't get the hint. So what do you do? How do you deal with those people that, that won't stop talking? So there's a few things that I'll recommend. First of all, you know, I'm going to, I covered some of this in the, in the book chapter, obviously, but I'm going to rehash a little bit of that here and then I'll, I'll expand on it a little bit more. But essentially one of the first things that I recommend, and if you've, you've already seen my video on it, then you know, uh, you can check it out here that I, I plan my week. I use the Pomodoro technique. You can check out how I plan my week. And you can do this at work, right? So you can use the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique is very simple. It's basically you set a timer for 25 minutes, you pick a task, you focus just on that task, and then that's one Pomodori, you take a five minute break and that's it, right? And then you move on to the next one. And you try to get so many done in a day. I set a quota for how many I'm gonna get done in the day. So what you can do is you can basically go to your boss and your coworkers and you can say, hey, look, I'm going to experiment with something that's going to make me more productive, right? I've talked about this a few times before. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sign on my cubicle that says, do not disturb. And on the other side, it's going to say, come on in. And when I'm working on Pomodoro, when I'm working on serious work, which it's going to be 25 minutes at the max where I have this do not disturb. I just ask that you, you don't disturb me, that you come back, you send me an email, whatever, and, and I'll come and find you after the 25 minutes are up and, and then we'll talk, right? And it's going to make me more productive. I don't think, you know, most people are going to argue with you if you present this in the right way. And this is going to cure the talkative coworker problem really quick because you're not explicitly calling this person out. You're not being mean. You're not being rude. You're making it very clear that you you value your productivity and you could just put that sign on your cubicle. You don't even have to use the Pomodoro technique. You could just mention to your coworkers and your boss that you're trying this new thing out and you just want to have some time where you don't want to be disturbed because, and you can mention studies. You can say that interruptions cause context switching, which is true. There's some real studies that you can find them. I'm not going to link to them, but you can search on Google for context switching, interruption, you know, multitasking essentially studies for efficiency. And you can point them to studies and say that, you know, being distracted and having interruptions causes your efficiency to drop and you want to be as efficient as possible while you're here at work. 
it's going to be very hard for someone to argue against that, right? And you know, so so you can do that, and then you can put that sign out, and then Mr. Talkative person, if they are rude enough to ha to like see a sign after you've said that that says "Do not disturb," and they come in and talk to you anyway, then it's time to just have a good old talk with them. And if that doesn't work, or if you don't want to do that, you can also do this. You can just have the talk, and you can say, "Look, I appreciate you. I like you." You know, but I am here to work, and I can't get work done. And, and, and try to make it about you. Don't make it about them. Say, look, I am an easily distractible person, right? And when I get distracted, it's hard for me to focus. I have ADHD. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know, just tell them and say, look. So I would really appreciate it if you didn't talk to me so much because it distracts me. It's my, you know, it's my thing, my problem, and you know, I, I can't handle distractions as well as other people can. That's a great way to do it. That disarms the situation and, and doesn't make them feel bad about themselves. Doesn't create an enemy at work, right? It's a coworker you have to work with. Uh, so that, that's definitely one approach. You could just be direct and, and say, "Hey, you know, stop talking to me so much." I, I wouldn't recommend that. Try, try one of the other two approaches. You know, you can also do things like I said. If you haven't tried doing the hints, one of them is that you can wear your headphones more often, and you can go and put your headphones in, or you can just say when you're ready to work, say, you know, "Excuse me, but I've got something really important, or I've got something scheduled on my calendar, or I've got a meeting, or whatever it is. I need to get to that right now." So, you know, apologize for the, you know, for, for, for taking, <laughs> taking away from your conversation, whatever. I wouldn't apologize, actually, don't apologize. Just say, you know, I got something that, that I gotta take care of. But, you know, honestly, I would prefer one of the, the first two approaches. I think that's better. I think it's gonna resolve the problem much better. If you're, if you're like, if you're in an arms race where you're putting on headphones and the other person, and you're like doing all kinds of dropping hints and they're not getting the hints, that's gonna be a bad situation. It's better to be more direct, but to do it in a tactful way or to change your circumstance. And then honestly, if you have a choice, do the first option. Use the Pomodoro technique or use some kind of do not disturb. That's just a good practice in the office anyway, just so that you're not distracted. You, you spend a lot of time or you can waste a lot of time socializing when you want to get work done. And, and socializing is not going to get you ahead at work. You need to be working and working hard, right? I've, I've, I'm sure I've, I have, a, I know I have a playlist about you being a lazy ass. If you, if you guys love these videos where I call you lazy. Anyway, watch that if you need to know why you need to work hard. But I think that that will solve your problem. So there you go. That's how you deal with a coworker who doesn't talk, who who talks too much. Uh, I talk too much. If you want to hear me talk too much, you can click the subscribe button below, and you'll hear me talking too much. <laughs> In fact, I love to talk so much that I produce uh, two to three videos, new videos a day. Yes, that is right. It is correct. Two to three new videos a day, at least for the time being. So click that subscribe button, and if you have already, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That's always good and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.